Touring Cars is the largest motorhome rental company in Europe. The Finnish company offers all categories of fully equipped motorhomes. Simply pick up your selected vehicle at one of the many Touring Cars rental stations to start your motorhome holiday as soon as your plane touches down. Transfers between the airport and rental station are free of charge and included in the service package. Enjoy a carefree holiday in your motorhome. With our tips for safe driving and proper use of your rental vehicle, your next holiday is sure to be an unforgettable experience. Additional details on the use of your vehicle can be found in the onboard operation manual. We wish you safe travels and holidays full of adventure and relaxation in your hobby motorhome. The Basic Vehicle Get to know your vehicle before starting your trip. Ensure that the seat is in the proper position and adjust the safety belt accordingly. Become familiar with the instruments in the cockpit. The display provides important information about the vehicle and helps you to navigate. The reversing camera helps you to maneuver and park. Learn how the headlights work and how to use both the windscreen wipers and parking brake. Shift through the various gear positions when parked. It is essential that the wing mirrors are correctly positioned. Always keep in mind that a motorhome is larger than a standard car. A sign with important information about the vehicle can be found on the backside of the sun visor and is very helpful when traveling. Should you have any problems with the basic Fiat vehicle, please directly contact Fiat services or a contract partner. Proper loading. A hobby Ventana provides plenty of storage space for your holiday luggage and leisure equipment. Do make sure, however, to load the vehicle properly and to always observe the prescribed vehicle load capacity. Bulky items can be conveniently stored in the rear garage. Heavy luggage should always be stored as close to the floor of the vehicle as possible. It is a good idea to secure the items with straps to additionally stabilize the load. Make sure the luggage will not slide when driving and that all of the compartment doors are closed securely. If a rear bicycle rack is available, it is possible to carry several bicycles. Make sure the rack is properly folded out and secured before attaching a bicycle to the rack. The wheels can be secured by hand using the manually adjustable straps. Attach the bicycle frame grab arm to the rear rack and to the crossbar of the bicycle. Then check the structure to ensure its stability. The maximum load-bearing capacity of the rear bicycle rack must not be exceeded. Outside check. Get your hobby Ventana ready to drive. Retract the awning and wind up the rear steadies of the vehicle. Remove the power cable from the 230 volt power outlet. Remove the cable from the pitch and from the vehicle and store the cable drum in the luggage area. Retract the step in front of the entrance door and close the outer door. The large pleated insect screen needs to be retracted before the door can be closed. Make sure the gas bottles are securely strapped in place and turned off. It is also imperative to retract the satellite antenna before driving. Inside check. Close all windows and the roof hatch before driving. Close all open drawers and compartment doors and safely secure all loose objects in the cabinets and compartments. Fold away tabletop if it needs to be. Turn the cockpit seats towards the front of the vehicle and make sure you hear both seats lock into place. Make sure the slimline refrigerator is always securely closed, not just when driving. Also make sure all items in the bathroom are properly secured and close the door of the bathroom with the rotary knob. Seats and driving tips When driving, 
always observe the permissible number of passengers for the vehicle and only use seats with safety belts. Passengers are obliged to wear a seat belt in both the front and back seats. When driving, passengers are not allowed to stand up and walk around the motorhome or lie in bed. Always be aware of the size and weight of your vehicle. For example, it has a longer braking distance and is taller, wider and longer than a standard car. The fuel tank must only be filled with diesel. Have a passenger guide you when reversing, parking or maneuvering the vehicle. Also, watch out for hanging branches. When turning, remember that the rear of the vehicle swings out further. Always maintain a suitable amount of side clearance and adapt your speed to the current traffic conditions. Selecting a pitch and stationary operation. Select a suitable spot which is level as possible and have someone guide you onto your pitch if possible. If the pitch is sloped or not completely level, wheel chocks can be used to even it out. Then set the parking brake and put the vehicle in gear. The onboard cable drum can be used to connect to a 230 volt power outlet at the pitch to provide electricity for your vehicle. Turn the gas bottle on to supply the motorhome with gas. The refrigerator runs off the leisure battery, which is automatically recharged at the pitch from the 230 volt power supply. Fresh water system. Make sure the vehicle is level before filling the fresh water tank and turn off the water taps in the kitchen and bathroom. Also, turn off the drain valve on the water heater if necessary. A clean hose can be used to conveniently fill the fresh water tank through the water inlet. The control panel will display the water level of the tank. After filling the tank, turn all water taps to hot and let them run to turn on the water pump. Leave the taps turned on until the water comes out of the tap without any bubbles. This ensures that the water heater is also filled with water. Then turn all water taps to cold and leave them on to fill the cold water pipes with water. Leave the taps turned on until the water comes out without any bubbles. To empty out the fresh water, open the valve on the tank. Wastewater Only dispose of your wastewater at designated disposal sites. The outlet for the wastewater tank is located underneath the vehicle. Open the drain valve to allow the wastewater to drain. Close the drain valve after the wastewater tank is completely empty. Preparing the toilet cassette. The slide blade of the cassette toilet should always remain closed and only be open for use. Open the service hatch from the outside and pull out the cassette with the slide blade closed. Set the cassette down vertically with the drain nozzle facing upwards. Open the nozzle and pour the proper amount of a suitable sanitation product into the tank. Then add enough water to cover the entire base of the cassette. Close the drain nozzle, fold it back down and gently rock the cassette back and forth to distribute the liquid before sliding the cassette back into its compartment. Make sure the mounting bracket on the cassette locks into place properly. Emptying the toilet cassette. Empty the cassette at the very latest when the LED fill level indicator lights up. The slide blade of the cassette toilet should always remain closed and only be opened for use. Open the service hatch, unlatch the cassette and pull it out. Now take the cassette to a designated point of disposal. Turn the drain nozzle upwards and remove the cap. Then tilt the drain nozzle downwards and keep the vent button pressed down to empty the tank. Then rinse out the cassette with water several times and pour in a sanitary additive. Slide the clean cassette back into its compartment until the mounting bracket locks.
gas system. The gas bottles are located in the gas lockers and can be accessed from outside. Turn on the connected gas bottle to supply the entire system with gas. When driving, the gas bottles need to be securely strapped in place. Each individual gas device has its own shut-off valve. Heating The heating and hot water provided by the water heater can be controlled with both the TFT control panel and the Truma control panel in the rear area. Heated air is distributed throughout the entire vehicle through several outlets which are located, amongst other places, in the bathroom and underneath the fold-out dining table. Windows and pleated blinds The safety locks on the windows are released by button. For fresh air, the windows can be opened in steps up to a 90-degree angle. To close a window, raise it slightly to release the locking mechanism. The window handles also provide a ventilation setting which keeps the window open a crack. The window combi cassette is equipped with a pleated blackout blind and insect screen. You can darken the cockpit by sliding the provided screens across the cockpit windows. The entrance is also equipped with a pleated insect screen which can be closed while the door is open. Release the locking mechanism to open the roof hatch and make sure it locks into place properly after it has been closed. The roof hatch is also equipped with a ventilation setting as well as a blackout blind and the pleated insect screen. Cabinets and drawers The cabinets and drawers in the hobby Ventana provide an abundance of storage space. They afford ample room to neatly and securely store your supplies, kitchen utensils and clothing. Become familiar with the various latches and handles, learn how to use them and make sure all latches are closed and that loose objects are safely secured while driving. Bed Setup The slatted frames and accompanying mattresses can be folded up and attached to the wall of the vehicle with retaining straps to provide more space when driving. To set up the beds, evenly position the support bars between both bed frames and add the middle piece before lowering the slatted frames onto the bars. You can then position the mattresses. You can add the central cushion to create a larger, continuous reclining surface. The seating area in the middle of the vehicle can be turned into a children's guest bed for your little guests to sleep on. To set up the bed, turn the driver's seat towards the seating area and lower the table. Then, add the connecting piece to turn the seating area into a reclining surface. Additional space and comfortable seating are provided by the laterally adjustable seating area which can be easily pulled out to the edge of the cushion frame. Refrigerator The slimline refrigerator in the Hobby Ventana exclusively employs current controlled compressor technology and runs off the leisure battery. It features three different operating modes. In automatic modes, the compressor runs at medium speed until it has reached the target temperature. In night mode, the refrigerator runs at lower speed. If the supercool mode is selected, the compressor runs at its highest speed until the target speed is reached. Make sure the refrigerator doors are always properly closed. Gas Hub Turn on the gas bottle before using the gas hub. Each individual gas device has its own clearly designated shut-off valve. Turn on the appropriate shut-off valve to supply gas. The flame of the hub has electric ignition which is triggered by button. When cooking, ensure that there is a sufficient air supply by opening window or the roof hatch. The power sockets above the hub should not be used whilst cooking. 
basic bathroom features. Get to know the basic features of the bathroom. Open the door with the rotary knob and try out the different storage areas and cabinets. The wash basin tap is also used as the handheld shower head. Fold out the shower panel to deflect water from the bathroom wall. In some models, it is possible to slide the toilet to the side by hand. To unlatch the sliding toilet, release it with the latch underneath the wash basin. The toilet features an electric flushing mechanism. Push the button next to the toilet to flush. Only use toilet paper that is suitable for use with a cassette toilet. Onboard technology. Virtually all of the onboard technology and electronic devices in the vehicle can be centrally controlled and monitored using the TFG control panel at the entrance. Intuitive menu navigation makes it easy for you to select your desired settings with the touch of a button. As well as via the TFT control panel at the entrance, the heating and hot water can also be conveniently regulated from the rear bed where a Truma control panel is installed. The triple touch light switch allows you to select different lighting settings. Several power sockets are available for 230 volt and 12 volt power supply. The fuse box and battery cutoff switch can be easily accessed under the front passenger seat. The satellite system is controlled using the TFT control panel. The accompanying TV is mounted in bracket which is released via push button. The receiver is located right beside it. After your trip. First, turn off the master switch on the control panel to deactivate the water pump and then turn on all water taps. Empty the fresh water tank, making sure that no water is left in the pipe system. Dispose of waste water at a designated site. Turn the lever to empty the water heater using the drain valve. Also empty the toilet cassette, clean it thoroughly and turn off the gas bottle. <laughs>